I went to a meeting in Aurelia and Parks Canada were doing a presentation and the superintendent who came from uh, Peterborough at that time was uh, assuring the city council that he had full authority to make any decision regarding his fish fence. And he was saying that they were going to remove some of the fish fence to make room for a new bridge system that needed to go into place. So I went up to him and I said to him, um, I beg your pardon, um, who gave you the fish fence? He said, oh, well, it's a National Historic Site and, and through legislation I am deemed to be the person responsible and I'm responsible for the fish fence. Hmm, I said, even though my people fish there and it belonged to them, how come now you own it? Well, he dismissed me and uh, poopawed me and uh, I left. I came home and I got uh, an elder who put on his full regalia of buckskin clothing, a man that was would have been 90 years of age if, had he been still alive. I took him to the next meeting and my elder went up to this man. I think you're a bit mistaken. That's my fish fence you're talking about at the Narrows. Oh, well, I didn't mean to say it was mine. Oh, well, that's what you said to this man here. Well, uh, he must have heard it wrong. Uh, I, I'm... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, so my relationship with Parks Canada be, be, be started with this type of... Uh, this is how we began our relationship. And it was a bit brutal. And various people that they sent to uh, our gatherings and our meetings in the very beginning came with, uh, we have to have decisions here by 3 o'clock, people. Come on, speed it up. Um, and uh, to the point now where we hug, we smudge, we hug, we visit, we lollygag, um, we're at a new place in our relationship where we jointly co-manage what's, what's still there. And uh, since that time, my chief and council have stepped up to the plate to assure all levels of government, both municipal and provincial and federal government, that they are the true authority over the fish fence. That is their role. And uh, so I have chief and council. Uh, I, do, I, I take care of the day-to-day -day kinds of things and our, our group check in with our chief and council. And it's our chief and council that have the authority to make decisions, what, whatever they may be, regarding anything that might or could be done with the fish fence at the Narrows. But in the beginning, um, it, was, it belonged to Parks Canada, not to us. And today it belongs to both of us.